Inshallah, um, the five minutes talk I will be giving again on the theme, uh, the family, its importance to building a good society and in nation building in general. From the fifth raka'ah, the Imam had recited the verses, precisely verses 124, 25, 26, all, to, all the way to where he stopped. And the most important aspect of these verses he recited was the narration of Nabi Ibrahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us, in summary, the life of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, and how Allah Azza wa Jal chose him and made him a leader for the entire mankind. وَإِذَا بَتَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَعَتَمَّهُمْ قَالَ إِنِّي جَعِلُكَ بِالنَّاسِ إِمَامًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and remember, that verily when we made Ibrahim, we chose him and made him a leader for mankind. Immediately, Nabi Ibrahim was given this important task. What he also prayed for, what he asked Allah for, was also a means of continuity or succession. He said, oh Allah, and from my progeny, what that showed was that the very first thing that Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, thought of was not just the mission that Allah was giving him to convey to mankind, but also that when he has left, there would be those that would follow suit as successors and would inherit from him. This is why the prophets, the Anbiya, whenever they would pray, they would pray to Allah to grant them progeny that would inherit from them and pass on the task of guiding mankind. Similar to Nabi Zakariya, when he asked Allah for a child, he prayed for a child that would not only pass the message, but would inherit. What they were inheriting was the responsibility of guiding man. So leadership, the very first thing we learn of leadership is to think of a succession plan that will ensure that the message is passed and the nation is kept intact and does not deviate or does not go off the straight path. For every male that is here, the responsibility is on us as the heads of the home in court to guide our families, to raise them well, to teach them the right things, to bring them to the path that will make them earn salvation in this life and the hereafter, but more than anything, that they would also be sources of inspiration to others as well. It is not enough. Today, I think we see in our nation the, the rot in terms of leadership. We see that a lot of things are wrong. And sometimes you begin to wonder, how do you correct the errors? The very first, is you correcting what you have the power to correct and that is from your own. All of us cannot become presidents. All of us cannot become senators or leaders in certain ways. But leadership commences from your own. The point in time that you can correct yourself and correct your family and raise them well, then that is the first step, inshallah, to building a good home. And that is what we learn with Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. He didn't think of himself alone. He didn't think of what he will benefit alone. He thought about the progeny. He thought about those to come after him. And that is why every prophet, every messenger after Ibrahim was a descendant of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, including our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam. Wa alayhi 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 wa alayhi